In this section, we will discuss the equilibrium carrier concentrations for semiconductor materials. Since electric current, electron and hole flow, is dependent on the concentration of electrons and holes in the material, we need to develop equations that describe these concentrations. Furthermore, we will find it useful to relate these concentrations to the average energy, the Fermi energy in the material. Once we know how to determine the carrier distribution, we can find the carrier concentration by integrating over all energies. Since GCEDE represents the number of conduction band states per cubic centimeter in the E to E plus DE energy range, and Fe represents the probability that an available state at an energy E will be occupied by electron, it then follows that GCE, Fe, DE gives the number of conduction band electrons per cubic centimeter lying in the E to E plus DE energy range. And then we can integrate GCE, Fe, DE over all conduction band energies, and that gives us the total number of electrons in the conduction band per cubic centimeter. In other words, Integration over the equilibrium distribution of electrons in the conduction band yields equilibrium electron concentration N. A similar process can be made to yield the equilibrium hole concentration P in the valence band. By substituting GCE and Fe into the integration, we can obtain the formulas for equilibrium electron concentration N and equilibrium hole concentration P. The simplification process on the upper integration limit makes use of the fact that the integrand in question falls off rapidly with increasing energy, and it is essentially zero for energies only a few kT above Ec. Hence, extending the upper limit to infinity has a totally negligible effect on the value of the integral. This is the Fermi Dirac integral order one half. The integral cannot be expressed in a closed form containing simple functions. It is in fact a tabulated function, which can be found in a variety of mathematical references. Nc is effective density of conduction band states, and Nv is effective density of valence band states. The N and P formulas here are very general results, valid for any conceivable positioning of the Fermi level. The constants Nc and Nv are readily calculated. The value of the Fermi integral can be obtained from available tables, plots, or by direct computation. However, this form is still cumbersome and inconvenient to use in routine analysis. Fortunately, simplified expressions are available, and can be used in the vast majority of practical problems. To be specific, if EF is restricted to values less or equal to EC minus 3 kT, then N can be simplified to this much simpler expression. On the other hand, if EF is greater or equal to EV plus 3 kT, then P can be simplified to this expression. Thus, for EF between EV plus 3 kT and EC minus 3 kT, both N and P can be simplified as listed in the green box. Whenever EF is confined within this range, the semiconductor is said to be non-degenerate. Whenever EF lies in the band gap closer than 3 kT to either band edge, EC or EV, or actually penetrates one of the bands, the semiconductor is said to be degenerate. Thank you for watching this video. We will see you in the next video.